wire services are broken up into three different parts, including the MFB, Metropolitan Fire Brigade, CFA, Country Fire Authority, and FFMV, Forest Fire Management League, which are all under the Emergency Management Victoria. This series is all about the CFA and their systems. This series is being produced to give the general public more understanding about what happens. Please note this series has no affiliation with the CFA. Each episode will go through different systems, including different types of vehicles, how staff and volunteers get notified of incidents, and many more. The CFA serves the majority of Victoria. As you can see from this map, it extends from Mildura to Mortwell, Warrnambool to Wodonga, with it missing a chunk around Melbourne which is served by the MFB. The CFA is predominantly a volunteer service, but it has some staff service, with over 1,200 stations including all staffed, integrated stations, and all volunteer stations. The CFA area is broken up into 21 different districts, each one having a number allocated to them and the district headquarters. The districts are District 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, District 20, District 22, 23, 24, and finally District 27. This first part is going to be about the differences between staff and volunteer stations. CFA has 37 staff stations which are located across Victoria. The stations are located in towns where the fire brigade receives multiple callouts, upwards of 300 callouts per year. The staff stations usually have more specialised equipment such as ladder platform, hazmat vans, pumpers, BA vans, etc. With them requiring more specialised training to be able to use them. Staff stations are there to be able to take a load of volunteers, where staff support other volunteer stations, but volunteer stations do also support staff stations at times. Staff to also do extra things like the newly introduced EMR, Emergency Medical Response, to support Ambulance Victoria. Some staff stations also have volunteers, and they are called integrated stations. This is important during times when staff are out of area to be able to keep up coverage. Volunteer stations, which there are over 1,100 of them, are located throughout Victoria. Each station has at least one tanker, and the number of incidents they attend each year range from as low as 0 to 5 and up to the hundreds, depending on the location and the year. Volunteers are a critical part of the service, and it would not be able to run without them. Thank you for watching my first part about the CFA. About listening to live and dispatch feed. We show your support and see you next time.